Hello everyone and welcome to Biophile Academy. Knowledge beyond classroom. What is pharmacology? What are their branches? What is a drug? What is a disease? What are the sources of drugs? What are different dosage forms? Hello everyone. Today I will be discussing about general pharmacology. So let's start with it. The term pharmacology is derived from Greek words. Pharmacon. Logos. Pharmacon means drug. Logos means science. So pharmacology is defined as a science which deals with the study of drugs. Now let us know what is a drug. We can define drug as a medicine or other substances which has a physiological effect when ingested or otherwise introduced into the body. Or, it can also be defined as any substance that when inhaled, injected, smoked, consumed, absorbed via a patch on skin, or dissolved under the tongue causes a temporary physiological change in the body. WHO World Health Organization defined a drug as any substance that is used to modify physiological systems or pathological disease states for the benefit of the recipient. Drugs that are taken to treat a disease or condition are usually called therapeutic drugs. Drugs that are taken for fun are called recreational drugs. Now let us know what is disease. Disease can be defined as a state of discomfort which can be caused due to infections, genetic disorders and environmental stress and is characterized by certain signs and symptoms. The term disease broadly refers to any condition that impairs the normal functioning of the body. Disease that is present by birth is called congenital disease. Disease that began at some point during one's lifetime is called acquired disease. Disease with short-term nature is called acute disease. Disease with long-term nature is called chronic disease. Disease that are caused by genetic mutation, which can be hereditary and can run in families is called as genetic disease. Disease caused by medical intervention is called iatrogenic disease. Disease whose cause is unknown is called idiopathic disease. Now let us move to branches of pharmacology. There are various branches of pharmacology, some important ones are discussed below. Pharmacokinetics. Simply it is what body does to the drug, it deals with absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion processes of drug molecules. Pharmacodynamics. It is what a drug does to the body, it deals with the study of biological effects produced by the drug. Pharmacotherapeutics. It deals with clinical applications of both pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic aspects of particular drug. Clinical pharmacology. It deals with clinical evaluation of a new drug both in healthy people and also in patients. Toxicology. It deals with the study of toxic and poisonous effects of the drug and other chemicals. Chemotherapy. It is the study of treating malignant conditions. Let's move to sources of drugs. Drugs can be obtained from various sources, they can be natural, semi-synthetic or synthetic. They are discussed in the form of flow chart. Three main sources of drugs are natural sources, semi-synthetic sources, synthetic sources, natural sources such as vegetable or plant sources. Drugs obtained from plants have several active constituents which generally differ from plant to plant. Some of the common active principles are given below. Alkaloids, glycosides, tannins, gums, oils, resins. Now moving to animal sources. Different sources of drugs that are obtained from animal sources are hormones, vitamins, vaccines, coming to mineral sources. Drugs obtained from this source are antacids, purgatives. Let's see semi-synthetic sources of drugs. Microbial source. Antibiotics are obtained from microbial source. Example penicillin. Genetically engineered drugs. These drugs are obtained by blending discoveries from microbiology, recombinant DNA technology. Example hepatitis B vaccine. Lastly hybridoma technique. It is concerned with production of hybridoma cells which can secrete large amount of desired antibodies. Now coming to synthetic sources of drugs. 
Several drugs are being obtained from synthetic sources as the techniques involved are cheaper and easier. The drug produced are safer and are of good quality. Some examples of synthetic drugs are analgesic, diuretics, hypnotics. Now moving on to last topic dosage forms. Dosage form is the form of the drug that is suitable for administration to a patient. The method of combining an active drug with excipients such as binding agents, suspending agents, sweeting agents and preservatives to prepare a dosage form is called formulation. Different dosage forms are solid dosage forms. This are meant for oral use. They are in the form of powders, effervescent powders, granules, tablets and Capsules. Let's move to liquid dosage forms. These are also meant for oral administration. They are in the form of aqueous solutions, suspensions, emulsions, alcoholic solutions, extractives, enemas. Now moving to last dosage forms meant for external use. These are meant for external use and may have local and therapeutic effects. They are liniments, lotions, ointments pastes, plasters, gels, jellies, inhalants, aerosols, sprays, suppositories and transdermal adhesive patches. This was about general pharmacology. Videos of remaining topics will be available soon. I hope you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. If you like this video make sure to like and subscribe.